Okay, so here I open uh, one Arduino, and then what I'm going to use is a go to example. Uh, what I will do is analog. I will just simply use 03 analog and analog input. Uh, so if you open it, I have another one. So let's a little bit go through with me what this will do. Okay, so sensor pin. So what is sensor pin is a variable name is sensor pin and this one is connected to a0 which we are which your uh, yellow line from the proximity sensor is connected to and led pin okay so i just kind of delete that and sensor value is a variable that temp uh, temporarily store the value from a sensor so there are two variables. One is for A0, which is connecting pin A0. And sensor value is just temporary value. Currently it's zero, but it will store the value from a sensor. And then we'll, we'll actually ignore this one too. So but you can leave the second line at 13? Oh yeah, I, yeah just, I'm just using this one. Sensor pin and sensor value. And what is the function of, sen what is the function of setup? compared to loop only yeah only once run and actually it's not really necessary but just just, just I just kind of uh, make it clear that pin you by using pin mode I'm just saying the sensor pin as input uh, so do you remember that all pins of the Arduino of, a, of an Arduino they can be used either input or output but by default, actually, all A0 pins are set up as an input. That's why we don't need to write it. But some cases, if it's something does not work, because it's probably you, the previous one, or probably you may use this one as output. Then actually you, but it's kind of good habit that you are kind of declaring that uh, pin mode sensor pin as input. So kind of make an Arduino uh, know that we are going to use A0 as an input sensor. Okay, so here what we are going to do is actually we are using sensor value variable and then by using analog read function this will read a sensor pin which is A0 so we'll just collect the value from the sensor. That's it. And then, uh, and then I'll just delay. I just delete everything, but left a delay. And then I just say this value is just roughly about five hundred. What this means? Analog read sensor pin, and I will delay five hundred millisecond. What does that mean? It will measure the value from a sensor every five five hundred millisecond. So that's it. But that's it. Actually, this is all you need. But we want to check the value, and then uh, to see the value, we need to use actually serial mode, uh, this serial monitor here. To use serial monitor, we need to say to an Arduino that, hey, we are going to use serial monitor, which is simply serial dot begin speed with 9600 for now. 96 is actually the a speed that we are going to communicate with serial monitor. So this one simply saying that please activate the serial monitor, serial communication. And then after sensor value, I will just say that serial print ln, which is print line. And then I will simply print sensor value. So what this do is just simply show the value from a sensor. Serial is actually uh, the this one is actually the library of this serial monitor. Uh, if you see this dot, what does dot means? I explained before. Uh, Apostrophe. So the serial has a library, which is it has a lot of function inside, which is actually the serial has all the functions related to serial communication, and then one of the functions that serial has. We are going to use begin function, so that's why this one is serial dot begin, and print ln is serial dot print ln. Print ln is one of the serial library has. So this one is kind of like a, a way 
to use a function uh, that is pre-developed by another person's library. But actually, to use that, we need to import it. But Serial is one of the default library of Arduino. So we don't really need to state that we are going to import Serial. We can just use it. OK, so I just checked. Uh, I will verify. And it looks like uh, everything is OK with me. And then I'll connect it, uh, my Arduino to a computer. This one is Arduino Uno and port COM1. Actually, this one is installed on COM port 3. So I just upload it. So done unloading. And then if you open this serial monitor, you will see a value is coming. So do you see all this value? Uh, based on the size of your, uh, so as you see this sensor, there's are two eyes. I told you that one is, uh, uh, one is kind of shooting IR light, infrared, and the other one is actually receiving it. The problem is, so this one is actually developed to measure a distance between an object and this sensor. And actually, this one is actually designed to actually sense a little bit large object. So actually, I, my recommendation, if you use your hand, okay, so I test my hand. It is, when it is, my sensor is close to my hand, okay, so I just almost cover it. My value is 170. As you see, can you see that? So I kind of like move it far away from a sensor. So 180, 300. So I think the value is roughly about 300 when there's a distance about it's one inch. If I kind of put it at two inches, 340, three inches, 400. So I the opposite. Yeah, so it, it kind of, it, the value is different from sensor by sensor. Do you have this kind of sensor? Okay, so then, but actually, if you little bit move it away, your hand... Yeah, so I will, I will actually distribute a paper. Your job now, you don't really need to be precise, so what you have to do, okay, I'll check it out. Uh, what you have to do in this paper, collect your data. Uh, but instead of using your hand, I recommend to use actually another paper, because your hand is too small to, for the sensor to detect. What you have to do, Let's say your sensor is here. Measure a value for every inch. So one inch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, till 12 for one feet. And write down the value at that distance. So for me, Actually, let's start with zero first. When the value, when the the paper is almost touch the paper, it's a little bit fluctuating. But I have six hundred. So actually, at zero distance. I have 600, the value is 600, one inch, this one is, I have three, roughly about 300, this one is distance, this one is values, and three inches, I 
times 350 3 inches by 400 540 and roughly 12 inches I have 444 so first thing you have to understand about sensor is actually understanding the value for every distance especially when you use a proximity sensor Okay, that's it for now. I will cut it off here and I will continue in the next one exercise.